What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're talking about logical functions, specifically the logical function if. Now, if is a very common function in a lot of different program languages, uh, and it's basically the same premise uh, across all of them. If something happens, then do something else, do something else. So you'll find it in multiple programming languages um, across the across the board, and it's the same uh, the same idea in Power Automate. So if an expression resolves is true, then do this true action, else do this false action. So let's take a look at it. I'm in Power Automate here. I've got a manual trigger flow with a text input. We're going to ignore this text input for now. Then I've got my compose action down here. And if I click into it and go over to expressions, we can see the if expression down in the logical functions. So this is asking for uh, this is asking for three different parameters. If and then we've got an expression. Um, then we've got a value if this expression resolves to true, and then we've got a value if this expression resolves to false. So if um, something, then give me a true answer, else give me a false answer. So we uh, are going to use something very basic right now. We're going to choose equals. So if equals uh, one and one, so uh, equals is something we'll, we'll uh, figure out in another video, but essentially it's just um, matching two values together. Um, then um, we're going to say uh, yes, else we are going to say no. So all this is doing is saying, uh, I need a quotation mark there. All this is saying is if one equals one, then return the value yes, else return the value no. And that's it. So let's add that in there and let's test the flow. So I'm not doing anything with the manual trigger here, so uh, or text input here, so we'll just run the flow. Click done and we can see this returns yes. So that means that one does equal one and therefore we can um, we, we get the, the value yes. Now this is actually where we start to see a lot of the potential in a lot of these functions because we can actually use multiple functions inside a single expression to come up with a complex piece of logic. So we could say if this then that use a bunch of different things. So we'll do that now. Um, so we'll choose if, and then we will choose equals again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the length function. So we're going to say if length, and then comma, uh, remove that, then comma uh, five, uh, then comma, th uh, this is five, comma, this is not. Five. So what we are doing here is we are saying if the length of, oh, we need a collection. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this manual trigger input here. So we're going to say if the length of this collection um, equals five, then uh, we're going to say this is five. And if it doesn't, we're going to say this is not five. So let's try that. Um, just a tip. Sometimes these functions can get quite long when you are trying to uh, trying to edit them in here. So it's sometimes uh, an idea to copy this out into Notepad++ or another um, coding language, um, you know, um, program like Visio or something like that. Uh, Visual Studio, sorry, um, and then you can um, see where brackets and braces and things like that are, or parentheses are. Um, so just a, a quick tip if you start to um, you create bigger functions or can't figure out why the formula's not right. So uh, we're going to test this. So we'll click test. I'll perform the trigger action. Now this time we are actually using this collection up here, this manual text input. So I'm going to write the word hello. So this has five characters. My length formula should pick up that it's got five characters. It should equal the five characters that I've specified and therefore the output is this is five. So let's try that again and let's put in something else because we've had two positive results now. So we'll put in um, this uh, is the best flow I know. 
So that is longer than five characters, so that should return a negative result. So this is not five. So this is this is the true power here. You can stack up a lot of these different functions and different conditions inside the same expression. And using logical functions like if means you can do logical um, sort of uh, like checks. So you can check to see whether a string is too big. You can check to see whether um, a array contains a certain value. Um, you can, you know, check to see whether there is um, a, some validation on an email. So um, say if um, if a string contains a substring uh, of, uh, you know, at um, something.com, you could try and do some validation around that. So there's loads of different um, things, and this really, really shows the power of what you can do with expressions. And these logical functions allow you to do so much more. So, as always, I always like to hear what you guys are using these things for. If you use them, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. If you've not already, please hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out. And I hope to see you next time.